So you are looking to win this election. You are not contesting simply to contest an election. Am I correct? Absolutely no. We are not here to just contest. The reason I ask you this is because rather dramatically at this very conclave, a few hours ago, Dayanidhi Marat, the DMK leader, former union minister said, Kamal Hassan is the B team of the BJP. He's taking instructions from the BJP central leadership, from Amit Shah and Narendra Modi, that you are in a sense sponsored by them to divide the DMK-led alliance vote, is presumably what he was suggesting. Uh, I think uh, one of the best screenplay writers that DMK had is no more. They don't have the talent in them anymore. If they <laughs> want any stories, incredible ones, I've been a very successful screenplay writer. I could tell them more stories than they could tell me. <laughs> You're, you're saying that this is completely a figment of Dayanidhi Maran's imagination to suggest that Kamal Hassan is a B team of the BJP in this election. Yes, they've been deliberately doing that. I, I mean, they deserve uh, a, a full night's sleep at least once in a while because we are disturbing their sleep. The reason, of course, you're, if you are disturbing their sleep is because many believe that the DMK vote, you will cut into the DMK vote share because you are in a sense seen to have a strong urban middle class vote, you are very popular among minority groups, you could be cutting more into the DMK vote than the AI DMK vote. Hence, they seem to believe that someone is sponsoring you to run a full campaign this time. They can console themselves with any uh, uh, yarn <laughs> that they spin. But uh, th that's not going to uh, define us. Who, who's, your, who's your prime opponent in this election? There's a DMK-led alliance, there's an AI-DMK alliance. One is with the BJP, the other is with the Congress. Who is your primary adversary rival whom you believe you must defeat to change the system since you call yourself a change maker? See, uh, fortunately, uh, ADMK uh, will destroy itself. With, with its own infighting. Our work there is far less as far as opposition or opposing is concerned. I think DMK, we could directly look as uh, one to be, uh, uh, one to vacate <laughs> the place. So they're your primary opponent in this election, in a way? It could be, yeah, both. For me, both the uh, uh, Karagams, as we call it, are, Equally uh, important that they vacate the premises. <laughs> that they vacate the premises. You almost seem to be suggesting as if they seem to have a long-term tenure over a yes, particular... Yes, yes, yes. I, I mean, it's almost like an adjustment between two parties. So you cannot... Uh, uh, any lateral thinker will not settle for just yes and no, as negatives and positives. It, this has to have a third alternative, and that started to happen in people's mind and practically so now that we are now a solid political party. You know, it's interesting you say third alternative because you've also accused the DMK leadership of copying your manifesto, of borrowing ideas from you. You know, it seems to be getting slowly more and more personal. They've then hit back at you saying Kamal Hassan is, is a non-starter. No, uh, that's fine. Uh, uh, see, this is... Uh, a democracy, a good idea should be uh, copied, uh, if not um, emulated. Um, if you can't copy it directly, you emulate it. But uh, only thing is, in the process, why don't they uh, imitate our uh, promises of uh, transparency? They can't. Why can't they just be honest, which we are trying to be? Why don't they copy that? They can't. They are incapable. You believe all Tamil Nadu politi uh, politicians, existing politicians are corrupt? No. There are even people, good people, stuck in DMK and ADMK. <laughs> that, you cannot generalize like that. There are I want, are you giving them an open invite? Leave your party, join me? Absolutely. Good people should join our party. It's open. It's, uh, people who believe in change should be with us. You know, when I hear you at times, I get a sense that you were originally influenced, correct me if I'm wrong, when you started off your party a little bit by Arvind Kejriwal and Aam Aadmi party. I know you went and met him and there was a sense that you wanted to either be part of AAP or emulate the AAP model. But that was in a small city state like Delhi. In a large state like Tamil Nadu, is it possible to challenge the establishment no, so easily and become an anti-establishment hero overnight almost? 
No, overnight, I think time is, uh, 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 I mean, it's a point of view. As they say, one, um, I, I think uh, Mr. Tarur said, uh, Tarur said one week is a very long time uh, in, in politics. politics yes. I think re just now, a few minutes back. Um, but uh, what, what uh, come back to the question. I, I yeah, no, my, my, my sense is that I, I, what I want to understand from you is that, for example, you're contesting from Coimbatore South. Yes. If you win the election, great, you're a member of the assembly. What happens if you lose? I mean, can you, are you, do you believe you have the staying power to face victory and defeat? Or are you looking for an overnight success like Arvind Kejriwal had in Delhi? No, oh, okay, that, that's what, um, um, Arvind ji, uh, his uh, success is a, a good example. It can be emulated. But we have re-customized it for Tamil Nadu. We know that it is a small uh, union uh, state and it, it was easier to handle. But uh, that doesn't make his job any less. But we have worked and we have enough people here who are talented, who have looked and helped other uh, uh, chief ministers achieve uh, their state's vision. Uh, like Mr. Pondraj, who was who's our vice president, uh, was uh, part of developing programs uh, to, uh, for 15 governments. So these are people who are sitting with us.